guys! Today I'm planning for February in my bullet journal. And before we get started, I'm going to do the January flip through that I promised in my plan with me video. So here's my monthly overview. I'm not going to use this again because I didn't really check back to it. Next is my tracker spread. Here are my highlights and I filled the empty page with a sleep tracker. And this is my weekly setup page. And then these are the to-do lists that I used each day. It only took up one and a half pages this month. And now let's get into the February planning. So first I'm doing the title page on the left side, which consists of the title of the month, February obviously, plus a little calendar. Just a warning, the rest of the video is really overexposed like this because I was filming with my phone today because if you watched my study with me video that I posted on a Friday, my SD card stopped working and I haven't gotten a replacement one yet, so I'll be filming on my phone. However, I don't know how to turn off the auto brightness adjusting feature on the iPhone, so when it started recording it auto adjusted to this and I didn't notice until it was too late at the very end of the video, so hopefully this isn't terribly intolerable for you. Anyways, I've been setting up my trackers, and I'm doing a lot fewer trackers this month, just the ones that I actually really liked, which were the video plan, the habit tracker, and the finance tracker. I also set up the little doodles and border because this month's theme is gemstones. I'm filling out my video plan, and I'm referring to my video plan spread. You can see that in my 2018 setup video. And I'm also adding little doodles to my habit tracker. The good thing about February having only 28 days is that it's super convenient to divide it into four columns of seven. Just a side note, the supplies I'm using will be linked in the description as always, so if you have questions about that, be sure to refer to the description box. Now I'm erasing some pencil marks that I made beforehand just to plan out the layout. You can't really see them because of how overexposed it is, but trust me, there is something that I am erasing. Now I'm coloring in the gemstones that are on the border of this page, and the colors I'll be using this month are red, green, blue, and purple for rubies, emeralds, sapphires, and amethysts. On this page, I don't have all four just because the page number takes up a corner so I couldn't put a little gem doodle there. But I did use all the colors to outline the letters in a drop shadow kind of way. If you want a tutorial for drop shadows, I have a video about that which I'll link in the cards right now. Now I'm moving on to the next two page spread, which includes highlights. This is another thing I did last month, which was a kind of gratitude journal slash reflecting on the day. It's just writing down the highlight of the day. And another thing I'm trying out this month is word of the day in French, because I take French in school and I'd really like to improve my vocabulary and my French skills in general. So I'll be learning a new word every day and recording it here. I've been doing some gemstone doodles along the bottom just to fill up the empty space because I only need to take up 28 lines plus the title, so there's just an awkward emptiness along the bottom. Let me know if you want to see a drawing tutorial for some of these gemstones, whether that be a video or on Instagram or something. Be sure to let me know in the comments. Anyways, now I'm coloring in the gemstones using my mild liners. I'm using the marker tip of these because, if you didn't know, these are double-sided highlighters. One side is a chisel highlighter tip, which is not the most effective for coloring or drawing, but the marker tips work really well for that. You just have to be kind of careful because they do fray quite a bit. Like this green one I've had for over two years now, and the tip really is a lot less sharp than the red one, which I just got this August. If you've been noticing, I go over certain parts of the gemstones multiple times just to make it darker and add some depth so it looks a little more three-dimensional. For some of it, you can't really tell again because of the faulty camera work. I apologize again for that. By the way, if you're looking to get mild liners but having a whole set is too expensive, 
I recommend getting them individually for just the colors that you want. That's what I do. The only reason I've swatched everyone is because I swatched them for giveaways. I'll link in the description where you can get them individually. And at this point, I realized I had written the numbers wrong, so I just whited out all of it and moved on to the next spread, which is a weekly setup, kind of like how I did it in my January setup, with four columns, one for each week in the month. I found this method to be really effective because I could save pages. As you saw in the January flip through, I only used two pages for the weekly setups and then three pages for the weekly to-do lists. But normally for my full week pre-setup thing, I would use eight pages for all of these weekly and daily to-do lists. So it's good that I can save paper because then I can use this notebook for longer. Anyways, now I'm adding in the weekly planning part of my setup. As I mentioned earlier, I didn't want to use the monthly overview again because I didn't really check it. So instead, I'm using my weekly setup as the main place where I record events. This month's weekly things are in these octagon shapes because to me they kind of look like gemstones, how normally emeralds are depicted in cartoony ways. And I'm adding a drop shadow in each of the four theme colors. My favorite out of these four is probably amethyst. I just think they're really pretty. My birthstone is emerald, my birthday is in May, but I'm not the biggest fan of green as a color, it's just not my favorite. Now I'm going back to the monthly plan where my video plan is and writing in the videos for each week. If you've watched the video this far, I hope you're enjoying seeing my blue and green plaid pajama sleeves because I was filming this video on Saturday morning and this is one of those rare Saturdays where I don't have cross country or track practice in the morning. So I was just really enjoying having a lazy morning and not having to change out of my pajamas. Anyways, I referred to the future log to add in the events and then I'm adding in tasks based on which videos I planned for the next week. And now here are the completed setups. I'll be sure to do a flip through of the completed ones in my March plan with me. I'm really trying to be better at actually filling out trackers and doing those flip throughs this year, so be sure to remind me if I forget. I hope you like this video and check out my Tumblr and Instagram if you want to see pictures of my bullet journal. I upload new videos every Monday and Friday. I'll see you next time!